Welcome back, this is a quick uh, review of the Nano PC T3 from Friendly Arm. It's a development board based on Samsung solution and the processor is S5P68-18. It's an octa-core processor, meaning it has 8 cores and it's fast and it supports 64-bit and also 32-bit instructions. So basically the support is good. And let's go and check this board, a quick overview. So that's the case. The company added a metal tab insert inside the case so you can remove the upper cover. And also included labels for all the main interfaces, exter external interfaces, such as the uh, audio, HDMI, USB, LAN, and this input. So you have labels here, nice idea. So that's the upper cover of this case or housing. And the board costs about $16 retail price. Also, it's in, also you need to pay maybe $1 or, $1 or two, not sure. It has two mounting holes on the PCBs for mounting the heat sink. Highly recommended. So you buy it with a nice ceramic type sticker beneath it on the processor so you can see it anyway uh, let's go a quick overview of this board it has 30 pin uh, gpio header here dvp camera interface also rtc battery for external battery and it has 1 gb of ram you see the chips here from samsung also you have an external USB interface so you can add basically an, an additional two USB ports if you buy a cable you can find uh, find it on AliExpress it's a four pin for each USB port so basically highly recommend it so you basically can have about four USB ports on this device if you use it you have also a micro USB connector here boot selection button here you can select if you want to boot the system files from the eMMC storage or from the SD card so this button lets you select from where you want to boot and load the system files from and let's go to the back you have the Ethernet LAN two USB ports in addition to the two optional on onboard connector with an onboard connector so you can use and you have HDMI version 1.4a and that's the audio jack output also and this is the DC 5 volts 2 amps that's the power supply unit you can also buy not included in the default package so that's the power supply unit good quality so you can buy it or not depends on you let's move to other stuff okay you also have camera serial camera interface here and you have a display serial interface here okay this is the power on off switch and you have LVDS interface here and this is the debugging interface connection here this is the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi chip that's the EMMC chip and that's the power management chip also on the side you have the reset button here onboard antenna here an optional socket for external antenna here an additional power button here I'm not sure for what it's used for maybe for the external display uh, interface and also you have an RGB LCD interface here for connecting a screen, external screen like I said and that's basically it and also on the side you have a full size SD card slot socket here you can see on the back so you basically use it like this so it's not a micro SD card it's a normal SD card so that's it 
It has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi on board, works really nice. Like I said, it supports Debian Linux, Android, and Ubuntu. It has an onboard microphone, also works really nice. Very sensitive. So that's it basically. Uh, in the second part of the video, I'll show you how it works under uh, Debian Linux and maybe Android. So thanks for watching and bye. Back. Right now I'm using the Nano PC D3. I'm running uh, Debian Linux, and as you can see, this is the desktop. This development board has one GB RAM and eight GB internal storage eMMC and an external SD card slot. Also, right now I'm using the SD card for loading the operating system, so the speed should be okay but basically it's recommended using the EMMC storage the flash to load the operating system should be a lot faster so that said let's see how this system works I've installed here a LibreOffice LibreOffice so you can see it also loads pretty fast it's an octa-core processor based on Samsung solution. So, open office works fast. And let's try another one. You can see it's a matter of seconds. So, it's fast. And also, internet also should work fine. Here you have the browser. Right now I'm using the wired connection to the Ethernet port. That's the CNN website, of course. So, Ethernet works out of the box, no settings on DHCP mode. And also, let's go to the audio settings. Here is the Chipset analog stereo I2S uh, ES8316. Yes, Under input, you can see the microphone volume changes. If I snap with my fingers, so it's pretty sensitive. And that's the volume control settings. So you also have audio. There's an analog uh, output and also you can use the HDMI of course if you have a TV or a monitor. So best, basically that's the BN Linux. If you want to check processor information, you can see right now it shows the CPU clock speed minimum and a maximum speed it's between 400 megahertz up to 1.4 gigahertz or 1400 megahertz so that's the clock speed of the processor under system tools you have all the terminal settings S Media Player is also pre-installed. Of course, you can upgrade the distribution. You have the Synaptic Package Manager. Password is FA for Friendly Arm. So you basically, also can install all the applications under Ubuntu Linux. Just do a search 
properly installed or install a new one so that it pretty smooth everything looks fine and that's it I hope you enjoy my quick uh, overview of WN Linux thanks for watching and bye And this is another product where I'm showing you how Android Lollipop works on the Nano PC T3 from Friendly Arm. So basically, that's Android image I've uh, installed it on the eMMC storage. And you also have an option to load the operating system through the SD card, also, but it's much slower. So, eMMC burning the images there is much faster and you have also all the basic stuff with Android included in the image you have Play Store also installed so you can basically use it for uh, watching movies basic stuff here just like a set a setup box and so you have Play Store or YouTube I've installed also and it works you also have an analog connection jack on the development board or you can use the SD card also and let's check system information CPU Z here we can see the processor it's an 8 core processor it's an octa core and the clock speed is between 400 megahertz up to 1.4 gigahertz for each core GPU is a low level VR 400 MP it's new for me but it's not high level but it's enough for running basic stuff here under Android uh, total memory right now uh, you have 850 megabytes of RAM and 40% of this of the total RAM is free about 342 megabytes of RAM is free so 40% is free for current use if you don't run any applications in the background so system information you can see here Android Lollipop 5.1.1 and that's it resolution 720p right now because I'm using my monitor so that's it and from the internal storage available uh, storage I have about 82% okay so about 5 GB of free storage after installing Android and I'm using a nice keyboard I bought this keyboard for that also very recommended from uh, RI Tech, RI Tech. Uh, model is RT8 also very cool keyboard with a touchpad so that's it basically about Android stuff and of course you can use it for watching movies, streaming again it's not an octa-core processor but it's quad-core, it's enough uh, going to Antutu benchmarks that's the score pretty good for a quad-core processor So that's it. System information here also. Again, nothing new. Processor again also recognizes VR400 MP. So that's it. And Wi Fi, of course, looks really nice. You can also, also buy an external antenna to improve reception 
so that's Android and I hope you enjoyed my quick demo of Android thanks for watching and uh, bye